Hey guys, in this video we are going to deflast Darlingtonia Californica. We are using Darlingtonia Californica as an example, but the process is very similar to any tissue culture plant. We usually wait until the plants are more prominent and have developed more roots before taking them out of tissue culture. Unfortunately, this culture got contaminated and we had to get the plants out before they died. Start by splitting the plants, being careful not to damage the roots, stems or leaves. Tissue culture plants are very fragile. These small clump of plants have over 25 small plants. Most of them look fine, but some of the plants are a little light in color. It is most likely a temperature problem, as the growth tank where we keep our plants is a bit warm for these plants. It is definitely no vitrifications, our backup sculptures are growing much better. Using a pair of forceps, move the plants to soilless media. For carnivorous plants, always use organic OMRI pit moss with perlite or sphagnum moss. And never use fertilizer on carnivorous plants. Here we have more plants from another container of Darlingtonia. These plants have better color and more roots. You may want to acclimate your plants inside under artificial light. However, we move our plants outside in mostly shade to save space in the lab and save some energy. All cold hardy plants stay outside year round. East Tennessee is in zone 6B and has mild winters. To increase the chance of survival for tissue culture plants, it's a good idea to use a humidity dome. Be careful with the temperature, they can quickly overheat, especially outside or in the greenhouse. We deflast most of our plants during the spring and fall. If your community don't has a vent, open it for a few minutes every day for the first week. After the first week, keep it open and entirely remove the dome for a few hours each day. The plant should be fully acclimated after 2-3 to three weeks. The next and final step is to slowly increase the light intensity of the red sunlight. For more information, go visit plantcelltechnology.com. 